what we try to do in this museum is present the, the history of the NCO, letting the common soldier feel like he is a part of that history. A history that started in 1775 with the birth of the Continental Army. The Museum of the Non-Commissioned Officer at Fort Bliss uses storytelling and a wide knowledge of military history to connect the many displays, showing the evolution of the NCO through every major U.S. conflict. We start our tours with the statement, officers command units, non-commissioned officers command soldiers. And that is probably the essence of it. The renovation of the museum will incorporate the oral history program, which conveys first-hand knowledge and experiences through audio and video messages from one generation of NCO to the next. No major challenges in my life, as I see it. NCOs, uh, I don't want to say that they've been neglected, but their stories haven't really been uh, told as, as clearly and thoroughly as I think they should. Uh, there's a reason that NCOs are called the backbone of the Army, and we want to bring that out. The backbone of the Army continues educating and expanding through professional development classes at the U.S. Army Sergeant's Major Academy, where students regularly tour the NCO Museum. As I uh, often say to the soldiers when we complete our tour is, uh, now go forth and, and you make history. Specialist Dylan Townsell, 16th MPAD, Fort Bliss, Texas.